Neha Savla. I am an audiologist and speech language pathologist. Welcome to Sparkling Activities. On this YouTube channel, we share different creative and innovative activities using simple and easily available household objects and we post a video every Wednesday. So as you all can see from the background, we are going to continue the concept of gender which is male versus female or a boy versus girl and we are going to share four simple and innovative activities on the basis of this concept. So let's get started. So for our very first activity, I am going to take this male crown which is the crown of a king and the crown of a queen. So over here you can see that there is this cotton strip over here which tells us that this is a queen's or a girl's crown and this is the crown of a boy or a king. Now again this is something which is very easily available as we all for our birthday parties use these kind of props these days. So along with these crowns I have taken these playing cards and I have selected only the K and the Q which is the king and the queen of the cards. So what I am going to do is if there is a K that comes, now this is a Q. So what I am going to do is, this is a king's crown. So I am not going to keep it over here. But since this is a queen's crown, I am going to keep it over here in front of the queen's crown. Then I am going to see the next one. So again it's a Q, so I am going to keep it over here in front of the queen's crown. So this activity can basically be timed, like a time span of 1 minute can be done. And what you have to do is at the end of 1 minute you have to see where does the maximum number of cards go. So is it the queen or the king. And you can in a very simple and indirect manner teach your child the concept of a girl versus a boy. That is the gender concept. So this was our activity number 1. Now let's move on to activity number 2. Now for activity number 2, what I require is different kinds of belts. So as you all know, these are the male belts. Basically the belts which are more on the leather side or leather based belts and something which is more formally based. Whereas female belts are the ones which are more fancier. So you have different kinds of sequences, diamonds and other things placed on the female belt. So what we are going to do is, we are going to do a sequence of belts over here. So suppose I take a male belt. So this is the male belt which I am taking and I am placing it on the table in this manner. So then what I have to do is, I have to do a sequence where now I am going to take a female belt. So this is the belt which is a fancier one and we know that males do not wear such belts. So of course it's a, that of a female and we are going to place the female belt. Then we are going to now place the male bed. So basically what we are doing is we are just doing a very simple alternating sequence of male versus female using the beds. So a very simple activity and something which your child will really enjoy a lot. So this was our activity number 2. Now let's move on to activity number 3. So as you can see what we are trying to do is we are trying to make this abstract concept of male or female and boy versus girl in a very simpler manner so that our children understand this concept. Now for activity number 3, I am taking few handkerchiefs. Now again over here, we have differences when it comes to a male handkerchief and a female handkerchief. Like as you can see, this is the handkerchief which from the design is very evident that it is that of a male. Whereas the one which has flowers on it or any other kind of floral or other designs is that of a female. So what we are going to do is, I am going to first take this female handkerchief and put it in this manner. So the straight, the design part goes down and I am going to put these other hankies on this in this manner. So basically, uh, generally when we give clothes to the laundry wala, what we do is we just have one big towel and on that we put several other clothes. So what you are going to do is you are going to tell your child that this is one end and this is the other end of the female handkerchief that we are doing and he has to tie a knot over here. Now in case your child is not able to tie a knot, then what you can do is you can tell him that this is the end and this is the end. He just has to hold this end and you can take a cloth clip and just fix it over here and make a portly in this manner. So you are going to only use the female hankies for this activity. Now in a similar manner what I am going to do is I am going to use the male handkerchiefs. So I have this one over here. I am holding only one end of the handkerchief. So I am taking another hanky. I am holding it only from one end 
and again I am taking another hanky and I am holding one end over here in this manner. So then what you know is that the other three ends are sliding downwards. So this one end again what we have to do is we have to fix all the three handkerchiefs by using this cloth clip. So basically what you have done is you have just hanged all the hankies. So this was an activity number three. Now let's move on to activity number four. Now activity number four is something which is very simple which we can very easily collect all the objects from our house and in a very simple manner just tell our child to sort the different objects used by a male and a female. So I have used a wallet, a purse, a clutch and different kinds of other accessories that are used by males and females. So on my right I am going to put, so in front of this male crown, the king's crown, I am going to put the accessories used by males and on my left I am going to put the accessories used by females. So this is more of a sorting activity. Now as we know that this is a shaving brush and it is used by males, so I am going to just put it over here. Now as this particular clutch is that of a female, so we are going to put it over here. So basically what we are doing is we are sorting out different objects used by males and females and something that in an indirect manner tells your child that there are differences not only in terms of bodily structures but also in terms of the likes and the preferences and the different types of clothes and accessories of that of a girl and a boy. So these were our four different activities for today. I hope you all liked the activities. Please go and check out our previous videos as well. So please do like, share, comment and subscribe to our channel Sparkling Activities. I will see you all next Wednesday with more such interesting activities. Happy playing!